All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm here to talk to you about Steam levels, along with Steam trading cards, and how those two things play out together. So on your profile for Steam, you have a displayed level. I'm currently level 72. And that you can get from doing things like putting together different badges and cards into one of these badges for a level up. Each one of these gives you some experience when you put the cards together. And then leveling up your levels gives you more slots for your friends list and unlocks additional functionality for your profile on Steam. Like certain things like being able to decorate your Steam profile require you to actually like level it up a little bit by putting together these packs of cards. So to check out those cards, you just go over to your name at the top of the screen and go to badges and it'll tell you all the different games you've been playing that you've collected cards for that you might be able to put together and craft a badge. Either ones that you're ready to put together, like these two, Don't Knock Twice and Outer Wilds, or ones that you're close to, like Superstone Legacy. So if I wanted to, I could go to Outer Wilds right now. I have all of these cards that I've put together, and I could then click the button to craft the badge. It'll put all the cards together, it'll be like Shing Sparkle Sparkle, and then I'll get two things. I'll get a higher level badge, because I already crafted this. I'll get some experience to level up my profile. And then I'll also get an emoticon to use in chat. It's actually giving me a trading card for the summer right now, which is how I've been getting summer trading cards. It's been putting together a bunch of badges that I had building up. And then they'll also give you things like backgrounds, wallpapers, and other cosmetic stuff that you can use like on your profile or on other parts of Steam. The whole idea is to promote their ecosystem using trading cards and also um, giving you like cosmetics. And I could do that with pretty much any one of these ones that has cards that are ready. I can go in here and I can click craft the badge, like for don't, don't knock twice, which I don't even remember finishing, which I probably should at some point. And then it'll give me the badge and it'll give me a cool wallpaper that's all sinister and then whatever this is, it's an emoticon that I can trade with people, and then another card. And then if I really want to, I could keep buying more of these cards, but I'm not gonna get one that's got like a bunch of cards. Uh, like let's say I wanted to finish Superstone Legacy and I don't wanna wait. I could go down here and I could see from my friends list who has it listed down here. If there were any, currently I don't have any friends that play Superstone Legacy. So instead, I've got the option to visit the trade forum or search the marketplace for these cards to try to buy it. Or I could use the automated system right here, which would then allow me to do the same thing. Although I'm going to blur this because some of my personal information is on this and I don't necessarily want that to get out. But let's just say I want to spend 60 cents to get these last two cards. I could place an order and Steam will automatically go grab off the market if there is any available, those two cards, and then I can go back to this other page, refresh it, and then I can go ahead and craft that badge. You can trade and sell cards you want. If you want to sell them, you have to go to your inventory, click on the card and go to sell. It's kind of a pain in the rear to bother doing that because it's like three to 10 cents at a time. So if you have a lot of worthless cards, trying to manually sell them all for one cent is kind of a pain in the butt but you have the option to do that. And then you can kind of go through, craft all these badges, get a lot of goodies that you could potentially trade with your friends and slowly level up your profile. As you can see, my profile is almost level 73. Really, there's not a lot of point to the levels other than just bragging rights or because you feel like putting these cards together. Uh, that's pretty much all you really need to do it for. If you have a higher steam level, you'll appear higher up in the friends list of other people in their little like friends list window. That's something else I was reading on there. And from what I understand from people telling me is that you need to have certain Steam profile levels in order to unlock certain functionality like profile decorations. But in general, that's how you do that. You can also go into your inventory. And sometimes in your inventory, if you're like me, you have card packs or things like Atomic Heart and these other ones that you've never bothered to open, it might be a good idea to go through, check those out, and open those so that you can see which ones you have before you try to craft them. So keep that in mind as well. And if you want to sell any of this stuff, like if I want to sell Torgath, I can't sell this one anymore for whatever reason, but Trinoblite I can. Um, I can try to sell this for six cents, 
and it'll run me through the process to agree to the terms of service and then sell it. Um, for mine, uh, let's say I want to receive two cents for this. Or whatever. And then you can run through here and agree to everything. Be like, yeah, I want to list this for 15 days so someone will buy that for like three cents. And then Steam takes two of the cents and I get one, which is kind of lame, which is part of why I don't really bother to sell a lot of these cards, but you have the option to do that. And then you can you could potentially use that money to then buy other cards to finish badges. So if you found this helpful, I've been your host, Larry. This has been a brief look at how to buy and sell cards to craft badges to level your Steam profile. And I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.